Hey, Math 43, I had a question coming out of the Chapter 6 homework number 65. And here we were asked, initially, we were given Kyle's Z-score for his blood pressure. So we were told for 65 that Kyle's Z-score was 1.75. And one Z-scores in general, so Z-scores, they always tell you how many standard deviations above or below the mean any one data value is. So how many standard deviations above or potentially below average any one data value is. And if I draw the little standard normal curve, right? It looks like this, z-axis, zero under the peak. A z-score of one quite literally means you are a one standard deviation above average, right? If you have a z-score down here at negative two, you are, let me put the negative two, you are two standard deviations below average. So that's what those z-scores represent. And for Kyle here, his z-score is about 1.75. So he was here. He was almost two standard deviations above average. But in terms of what options are true out of those four options, only option four is the correct one. So Kyle's blood pressure is not 1.7 or 175. All right, uh, that's, that's not what we're saying about Kyle. His, his blood pressure isn't 1 point time, 1.75 times average. It's not even 1.75 units above average. It's literally 1.75 standard deviations above average. So that's why we go with option four. All right, and that's what I have here. So the two things, the two main things z-scores do is they take data that are on different scales and put them on a common scale. And then we're really utilizing this one in 65A. It, it conveys how many standard deviations above or below the mean. Ooh, this says and one data. This should actually say any one data value is. I will go make that typo in just, a, or fix that typo in just a moment. Um, so part B asks us to actually find his his blood pressure. So if we go ahead and we remember that our z-score formula, oh, let me change this from pink to purple. So we always had our z-score was value minus mean over standard deviation. And with this formula, we basically have four quantities. We have the z, the data value, the mean, and the standard deviation. And if I give you three of those, you can solve for the fourth one. So we were told the standard deviation, or the z-score, excuse me, was 1.75. We do not know Kyle's blood pressure. We know the average blood pressure is 125, and the average deviation from that blood pressure is 14. So now it's an algebra problem. I'm going to multiply both sides by 14 here. All right. So on this side, it's going to cancel out, right? And then on this side, the left side, I'll calculate this on my calculator, and I get 24.5 and that would be x minus 125, and then I will add 125 to both sides. And for me personally, I like to have my variables on the left side, so I would say x was 149.5. And they didn't give us the units, but usually blood pressure are in millimeters of mercury. That tends to be the units. All right, so there's number 65. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.